uh, in the last video what we have seen is how we are going to retrieve the data from the uh, database instead of uh, mockup okay now what we are trying to do is uh, trying to get uh, because we have a service to uh, add the student into the table i mean initially it was added the adding into the existing list okay so before that let me run the existing service which we created earlier and we'll see everything looks good okay see okay but here if you see the difference uh, first name last name both are coming as the same okay so what's the problem here okay so, uh, okay my bad so i had to put three here I put the same value. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to write a method to insert the student information into the table. Okay, so here we have an existing method where we add the student information into the existing list. So I'm going to write a method here. So, so I'm going to use this again. So I'm going to use the get connection. Since I'm going to uh insert the record of the table so i'm going to use a prepared statement prepare statement okay and okay prepare statement PS is equal to prepare statement. So here we need to provide the query. So we have to throw the exception here. Okay. Okay, now that is wrong. the prepare statement it has to be from yes this is okay okay so i got the prepare statements now and i entered the i need to write the query now okay so ins the query is i'm going to insert the record into student table okay why it is keep coming insert into st student and the field names are first name and the last name in students and values I'm going to use question marks so I can set it later so ps dot set ps dot set come on ps dot set uh, string so I'm going to set a string parameter so the first portion is going to be my get first name and copy paste it so second value which I'm going to insert is the last name okay so here we don't know how to do this okay so I have to execute the query means dot execute update so i can okay so now everything looks fine okay so what normally we used to do everything is done then do a build just save it it will do it will do the build for you and here there is some exception because there will be exception here the reason is you need to handle the exception here Okay, so I just did a build. Okay, it's building now. Okay, let's. So our AP, our uh, resources student service API under student service API, student service student API. So which I'm going to use it now. So student API is okay. Let's m meanwhile there is some issue in the previous one because it's both of both the places is reading the same one from the first time last name we have modified that let's see 
see now it's coming Aaron and the last name and then it's Aaron okay now what we're gonna do is uh, student API so when it's a student API it is a post method so make sure you modify the post and you have to modify the content type content type will be application slash XML okay so let's copy this so we can use it so the body so you need to choose which format you are going to send the data so XML up so you are going to use a different name here so what we can use it uh, we can use uh, action 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 king okay so when I'm going to hit the enter button or send it will insert the data into the table okay let's try okay let's go to the database and do a refresh here or because we need to have the new data which is we inserted now just wait for a while see that's all the record which I am inserting from the UI it is written in the back end okay it is there in the back end okay let me uh, run the, uh, the previous API to see whether the new data which inserted is coming in the response just see okay what is wrong here web source okay I need to go for the new URL student service API okay see Arun Dennis Nancy are the new one which we added action okay just try yourself and let me know if you have any issues I hope you guys enjoyed the video